There are a lot of notes for this video. Hi guys! Welcome back! I hope you're doing so well. Welcome to my channel if you're new. This is Wheels No Heels. It's dedicated to making videos all about life with a disability and raising a little bit of awareness and helping people feel less alone, the way I did when I was growing up. Anyway, today this video is all about the true costs of being disabled. Now this topic has been huge. It's been going around on Twitter. Um, Scope have done a little bit of research on it and I really wanted to make a video about it to raise awareness on how expensive it is to be disabled and I know loads of you get this and it's almost like people don't believe it so if I make a video about it we can get it out there and we can show people we're not making this up being disabled is expensive and it costs a lot of money and people are just like so shocked when they're like no 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 surely not you don't have to buy that you don't have to pay for this you don't have to do that no mm -mm. and it just falls on deaf ears excuse me she knows but it's true it is expensive so before i continue with this video why don't you pause it and drop me a comment down below and let me know what you have to pay for. This video is, I'm trying to make this video um, accessible for the whole world, um, but some elements of it are going to be specific to the UK because this is where I live. But a lot of you are over in America, so I'm going to put some points in of pe what people have to buy in America and the rest of the world as well. So, let's hope we do a good job. Scope have done a little bit of research and they have found that disabled people on average after all of their ex you know household bills and expensive expenses they spend 570 pounds a month and that is related to their conditions or impairments I'm going, to I'm going to give you some examples in a minute. Scope also found out that one in five people spend over a thousand pounds a month on things related to their condition or their impairments. Like that's almost a whole income. That is a lot of money. All in all, disabled people spend almost 50% of their income on disability related aids or um, medicines or things that they need just to live a healthy life or a life which is a little bit more enabled. So what are these things that are costing us so much money? Well I'm going to give you some examples for myself and what I have to pay for or what I have to think of. Just a few of them. So the first one that people are really shocked by is my wheelchair, um, which I have spoken about in uh, other videos. My wheelchair cost me an arm and a leg. Ah, oh my gosh, it's hilarious. No, <laughs> seriously though, it was really expen expensive. Ah, yeah, really expensive. Like. And you guys, I know you know, you know how much they cost. So that is a lot of money. So maybe you needed to take out a loan for that. You needed to take out a credit card for that. So you're paying it off monthly. So that's one payment. Um, and people are like, oh, we took Sebastian to uh, Disneyland on Friday. Oh, it was amazing. Oh, that's all good for you. Yeah, I just spent all my savings on a wheelchair. I mean, we don't get that much money towards a wheelchair, um, and the wheelchairs that are available on the NHS, the National Health Service here in the UK, are very basic and very heavy and are more of a hindrance than a help, which I'm sure you can relate to. Another thing that I feel like I probably spend a lot more on is my heating costs and my energy bills. 
Um, I don't go out to work. I used to work. I worked for 12 years part-time and I loved my job and I am a worker. Yep, mm. I work hard. But because I don't go out to work now, but I do do this and I pay bills and I pay taxes. And um, But because I am in the house a lot more and I can't go out as much as the average person, I have to spend a lot more on my energy and my gas and all that jazz. Another thing I have to pay for is um, treatments, like, okay this may sound nice and romantic, but massages. Um, now a massage, it, it's like amazing for me, my muscles just get so tense and tight, um, but it actually makes me feel ill. They get so tense and tight, like I have this whole fog over my head and my neck and I can hardly move. and my muscles get so tight around my rib cage it doesn't restrict my breathing but it's a lot harder sometimes to breathe and it's a bit more whew, a bit more laboured just because those muscles are so tight so to have a massage okay it might seem like oh that's yeah oh don't look young off for a massage but I actually need that massage to help me feel better to help me live my life I actually have to travel to places that are a lot further away for these treatments like acupuncture or massages or um, all of these therapies that aren't available on the NHS. I have to pay for those but I have to travel further for those to bigger places that are more wheelchair accessible which also because they are in bigger cities they charge a lot more as well. This also goes for things like hair salons and beauty salons as well. I have to travel further to bigger ones in bigger towns which consequently charge more but they are accessible. And uh, you might think that having a haircut is a luxury but it is a little hidden cost that I do have to spend more on because my choices are limited. I, the ones in town, they're not wheelchair accessible, they don't have an accessible toilet so I've got to go further afield. Oh, something else I need to pay for is um, all my pain medication, I buy that, um, I have to pay for all of my prescriptions. Another thing is adaptations to the home, now um, the government um, can give you a disabilities grant, which I believe, don't quote me on this, is around £20,000. Ooh, that sounds nice doesn't it, £20,000 to do your home up, Ooh, just think of the kitchen. Uh -oh. Okay, so what they do is they give you, they, there is a disabled person's grant, but it is means tested. So if you've got savings and you've been saving up for that cruise around the world, or for your child to go to college, or to go on a dream holiday, or just to have a fund in case the roof collapses or the boiler goes, they will look at those savings and say, ah, oh, she's got those savings, so she's got to pay 90%. So the work might be four thousand pounds, but you've got to pay for you've got to pay ninety percent of that four thousand pounds. So, and also not only that, when you apply for a disabled facilities grant, it's all of the hoops you've got to jump through, all of the red tape, all of the uh, you know. These forms, they are so um, what, violating. I don't know. They are so so stringent, and I know they have to be, but. These forms, they are more detailed than when you apply for a mortgage. It's like insane. Yeah, people do have to pay for these things. So those are just a few of the things that I find myself having to pay extra for only because of my disability and I'm not trying to um, make people feel sorry for me, it's literally to raise awareness. I know that there are lots of people out there who have to buy even more stuff and are heaps worse off, so don't get me wrong on that. So, I actually spent, I actually sent out um, a tweet and an Instagram message asking you what you have to pay for just because of your disability and oh my gosh, I had a massive list. So I'm going to run through it with you. Some of them are for people overseas in America and some of them are from here as well. So what have we got? So here is the list and we've got catheters. Uh, some people in some countries have to pay for their own catheters. That's, that's madness, absolute madness. 
Taxis. Yes, this is something that I would have to pay for as well. Um, if I caught the bus, um, if, if I had to get the bus, I would have to travel in my wheelchair quite a long distance to get to the bus stop. Um, and there's no way I could get there, or I would like lose so many spoons I wouldn't be able to go into town or come back. So I'd have to get a taxi to the bus stop, and then a bus, and then maybe another taxi at the other end. Convenience foods and pre-prepared meals, yes, this is something that I would have to buy as well, and um, yeah, obviously you do too. Then there's all the people who have to um, buy things that are specific to their diet, like gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free, all of those things to help with a special diet. They always cost a lot, lot more. My cousin's little daughter has cystic fibrosis, and um, for those of you who maybe don't know, you have to take a lot of intake of food because the food is not absorbed um, into the body the way it does um, a able-bodied person, so she has to buy a lot of food to feed her daughter up. Other people have to pay for carers uh, and help with their personal care. I've got my husband, um, I haven't really spoken about it much, kind of feel a bit like ooh about it, but my husband is my carer and behind the scenes you don't see, but he does have to do a lot for me. Um, another thing that I can't do as well, and that is cleaning, oh I know. <laughs> It is not because I am too grand, I literally can't hoover um, or sweep the floors. Um, dusting is, is rather tricky um, and sometimes it, it hurts me to clean and it uses up a lot of spoons as well um, to clean. I clean where I can, um, but if I didn't have my amazing husband, I would have to pay for a cleaner. Like, you don't, that's not included in the package. So, yeah, you have to pay for that. Oh, this is another one. Hospital parking. Hospital parking is not free. You have to pay for hospital parking. Like, it makes me so mad. Also, travelling to the hospital. I'm actually under the Salisbury District Hospital, um, which is quite far away from where I live. I have to pay for all of the travel to the hospital, and I know a lot of you do. Some people have to travel really, really fast. They have to stay overnight as well, and you need to pay for the accommodation as well and the travel expenses on top of that. Mm. Uh, another person said that they had to pay a lot of money for um, computing equipment. They were visually impaired um, and they literally needed a high resolution Mac, I think it was, so that they could use the software to help see what they were doing. Some people are also having to find that they have to pay for their dressings and their own wipes because of a disability, which you just need, or incontinence things because you need them and they're not included. Another thing that I wouldn't be able to do without my husband is like the handiwork, just bits and bobs around the house, even just to put up a picture or if something just breaks, you know, an, an average able-bodied person might be able to do like these little handy jobs around the house, but for someone with an impairment or disability it makes things really, really tricky. So just for their own safety or because they simply can't, they need to pay for people or handy men or women to come out and do that and that would be something that I would have to do. Um, a gardener. If you are lucky enough to have a garden, um, you may need a gardener as well. That's another thing you've got to pay for or think about that you've got to take care of. Another thing that you may have to pay for is adaptive furniture. I've got a bathing board, I've got aids to help on the toilet, I've got like a little grabber thing. Some people in some countries, they have to pay for all of this stuff. And another thing, and I think this is probably the last one, is um, electrical equipment. I have electric blankets that are on nearly all of the time, um, or you may have a heater or electric equipment that you need on all the time. Oxygen tanks, things like that. You need to have those on but you need to pay for the energy for that and there's not much help out there for disabled people with energy bills. Wow that is quite a long video. <laughs> um, I, I hope that this has raised a little bit of awareness in um, the true cost of being disabled. I know that sometimes a lot of ignorant people out there who don't have the awareness or the understanding of disabilities think that disabled people are just lazy, they're just scroungers and they don't work. Well, some disabled people that I know are the hardest working people. I know that I work super duper hard and I'm sure a lot of you out there work super duper hard. 
Sometimes we have to work even harder because we have a disability. So, you know, just remember these are really basic things that just kind of help us live our lives but cost so much. So, you know, make sure to leave your comments down below so we can raise awareness if someone who has never visited my channel before, who isn't disabled but comes across this video, make sure that they can look through the comments and really take into account of the true cost of what it is to be disabled. Also, do you have an idea that could help reduce these costs? What can the government do to help with this, to help change this? I would be interested in your thoughts. I hope this video has been useful and I hope I've done a good job. Um, thank you everybody who got in touch and helped me with this video. So, you know, it's like we've made this together, so I really hope I've done it justice. Um, make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already for more disability related videos. Always give me a thumbs up because I do like to know what you're liking, what you're not liking, because otherwise I won't do that stuff. And I really look forward to seeing you in my next video. Ciao! <laughs>